The Couple Next Door, written by Peg Lynch and starring Peg Lynch and Alan Bunce. Hello, Louise. How are you? All fine. Yeah, she's fine, too. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, we sold the house. Yeah, we're going to build. Uh-huh. Well, we can't afford too big a place right now, but we thought we'd plan it so we can have additions later, you know. Uh (laughs) Uh-huh. Yeah, look, is is Joe there? Yeah, if he's not too busy. Hello, dear. Well, hey, what are you doing downtown? Wait till you get off the phone. I've got a surprise. I was just calling Joe about the apartment he said we could get until the house is ready. Well, hurry, because we have an appointment. Appointment? Darling, I'm a working man. It's only 2.30 in the afternoon, for heaven's sake. Hello, uh, Joe, hi. Say, Joe, did you hear any more about that apartment you thought we... Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 that's okay. Oh, sure, sure, Joe, I understand. Oh, don't tell me we can't get it. We've got to be out of the house by March 30th. Well, look, it's not your job to find us a place to live, for heaven's sakes. <laughs> oh, no, 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 we'll find something. Yeah, yeah, okay, Joe, bye. How do you like that? Apartment Joe thought we could get in the same building his mother's in. It's rented. Yeah, yesterday. Oh, honestly. Well, we'll find something. We have until March 30th. Now, get your hat and coat and come on. <laughs> Darling, I'm a working man. Look, I can't... that apartment was rented because we were too late. Now, let's not lose the most beautiful piece of land I've ever seen because we're too late. No kidding. Yes. Well, you, you find something you like? <laughs> huh? Something I like, honey. It is... It is just what we want. Yeah? <laughs> it won't take too long to drive out there and see yeah, it either. Well, where is it? Well, as a matter of fact, it's only about a mile from where we are now. You could be back in your office here in an hour. I just want you to take a quick look, you know, and talk to the real estate man. You can probably ask him more questions than I can. I don't know much about buying property. <laughs> yeah, you know? well, look, I don't, I don't know too much either. Well, he's very nice. He's waiting down in his car, and he'll bring you back downtown, too. He's very nice, dear, and I'm sure he wouldn't sell us anything that wasn't right, you know. (laughs) Oh, my dear little trusting wife, you can be sold anything. (laughs) (laughs) I cannot. Come on, dear, I thought we'd pick up Betsy on the way past her school. Betsy? Why? Why do that? Well, dear, we're moving, and they say sometimes that's a psychological blow to a child. Gives them a feeling of insecurity. Oh, I'm getting tired of the psychology. We moved three times when I was a kid, and I loved it. Well, you see, that's why you're peculiar now. (laughs) Yeah, well, maybe so. (laughs) I think Betsy should be with us when we make decisions about the moving and the building of the house, so she feels she's really a part of it, too. All right, okay, all right, fine, fine. I can't wait for you to see this property. You will love it. (laughs) Okay, let's go. Now, uh, we leave the car right here and walk through the woods. Uh, Just follow me uh, right this way. Walk through the woods? Come on, Betsy. Isn't this fun, huh? I wanted to go ice skating with Jackie. Well, you can go ice skating later. Now, Mommy wants you to see the property, the land where we might build our new house. What does that guy (laughs) mean, walk through the woods? Well, you have to, dear, to get to the property. You mean we got to build a road to get to it? Well, I don't know, dear. Now, don't worry about that now. Don't worry about it now. I'd rather worry about it now than worry about it later, that's for sure. Well, it isn't very far, anyhow. If we did have to build one, it'd just be a teensy-weensy little road. Look, I may not know much about building roads, but I'll bet even a teensy-weensy one can run into a lot of money. Well, I don't spoil everything right off the bat. I was so excited about showing this to <laughs> All you, All right, dear. okay, okay, now. <laughs> this way. Oh, the... oh, look, there he is, yeah. off there. Come on, come on, Betsy Kins. Are we going to live in the woods? Well, we'll live in a house in the woods just like Little Red Riding Hood did, see? Are there wolves here? <laughs> what? Wolves? No, no, no. Wolves. Now, watch where you walk, honey. Are you sure? Yes, dear. No, no, no. wolves. Now, come For on. For Pete's sakes, how much farther is this place? What happened to the guide? Oh, Mr. Whipple. <laughs> He's right over there. Go on. Come on, Should right through there. Should have brought my snowshoes. I feel like Sergeant Preston of the Yukon. <laughs> oh, honestly, Oh, I'm teasing, in a way. Just thinking of being snowbound here in the winter. Now, over this way... That's right. Do the snow plows come through this way in the winter, Mr. Whipple? Oh, yeah, sure. Well, I must say it. Oh, boy. <laughs> Isn't that some view? Oh, oh. golly, that is something. <laughs> Pretty nice, eh? Oh, I didn't want to tell you, dear. I wanted you to see it yourself. Oh, I guess your wife told you this property just went on the market recently. 
The Edgewood estate was broken up. Uh, these are all two-acre lots. Two acres? Oh, golly, we hadn't planned on that much. I know, dear, but I did want you to see this because this is what we've always said we've wanted, you know, to be high up and have a wonderful view and... And a lake. <laughs> My gosh. Well, I didn't want to tell you about the lake. I wanted you to hey, see Hey, this is all... Isn't oh, nice? this is beautiful, oh. darling. Look at that view. I know. It just <laughs> looks. What are you looking at? The view, dear. The what? Well, isn't it pretty to look over the city? There's the park, and, and look, way over there, you can see the country club, see? Yeah, what about it? <laughs> oh, oh never mind, sweet. never mind. When you're older, you'll appreciate it, I hope. <laughs> dear, dear, look at the trees. Silver birch, blue yeah. spruce, yeah. pine. Uh-huh, they oh, God, they're really magnificent trees, oh, gee. Th do you think, Mr. Whipple, many of them would have to be cut down to build a house here? Oh, I wouldn't think so. Depends on your builder, of course. Mm -hmm. But uh, most of them like to keep the setting natural as possible. Mm -hmm. If you build right about uh, there, mm -hmm. I wouldn't say that uh, more than one or two trees would have to come down. Oh, that'd be wonderful, wouldn't it, dear? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> what kind of house uh, would you're planning to build? Colonial. Modern. Well, we have some discussion of that subject yet. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I see. Uh, honey, we would be part owners of the lake. Wouldn't that be fun to own a lake? <laughs> uh, yeah. How do you figure that? Well, um, you would own the approximate distance that your acreage borders on the lake front. Oh, oh yeah, I see. And uh, where are the boundary lines? Mr. I have a map of the area right here. Uh, just a second. Oh, and, and honey, there, there's a little brook he said, too. Uh -huh. in yes, summer, yes, there's a charming little uh -huh. brook right here in the, in the summertime. Uh -huh. Right over here. Uh, it runs down over these rocks. Little waterfall right about there, I think. Uh -huh. Waterfall? <laughs> we could have our bedroom on this side, and wouldn't it be wonderful to go to sleep in the summer and hear the little babbling brook? <laughs> yeah, unless the babble got on your nerves after a while. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. I don't think it would. Well, we have one on our place, and I can assure you it's wonderful to hear during the night. Uh -huh. It's so peaceful. You really oh. feel out in the country, although you're really right in the city. <laughs> well, not exactly. <laughs> Is this still within the city limits? Oh, yes, oh, yes. Sure. That's the beauty of it. You have all the advantages of city life, and yet the feeling of being in the country. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. Uh, now, here, these two acres are right uh, here. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I see, uh-huh. Let's go! You see, our property... W our property. <laughs> Calling it ours already. <laughs> yeah. Well, we have to give this some thought, darling. Yeah. Let's go, Mommy! Just be quiet, Betsy, now, will you? Now, you have quite a bit of lake front here, which is most desirable because in the summer you will have plenty of privacy with your own little beach on the lake. And the nice part, as Mr. Whipple pointed out to me, dear, is that actually these two acres are the best because the lake has sort of a little cove. Right down there, you see? Uh -huh. Right at those. Two. Really more <laughs> pic picturesque uh, and attractive, I think. <laughs> I looked at several places today with Mr. Whipple, dear, and honestly, nothing compares to this property right here. Let's go! Now you stop that or you will go back and sit in the car. I thought you were trying to make her feel part of all this. Oh, yeah. Betsy, come here, dear. Come here. I wanted to go ice skating. Now, look here. If we build our house here, you can go ice skating right on the lake next year. I want to go ice skating now. Well, you can just wait a minute now. Daddy and Mommy have to talk to Mr. Whipple now. Oh, yeah, I see there. The stone wall over there, the borders that side. Yeah, that's right. What do you think, dear? Well, I, uh, I'll have to think about it. I, I mean, I'm crazy about it. Uh -huh. I really am. It's <laughs> exactly what we've always said we wanted. I know it. I was so excited when I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> she was. And I said, well, you'd better see it as quickly as possible. And you can see I never try to pressure people into buying land. I don't believe in it. Actually, you don't have to. People either like it or they don't. But I do know that this land up here won't be available long. It's the only place in the city where you can get a view like this. You can see that yourself. Mm. Oh, sure, I know. How come it's on the market now? Well, uh, Mrs. Edgewood died, and her children decided to break up the estate. And none of them live here. I guess they wanted to get what they could out of it. Ah, uh -huh, uh -huh, well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you two walk around. Take a look at your property. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now take property. Betsy down to the lake. <laughs> I've uh, got a little girl just about your age. Go on, honey. <laughs> yeah. Well, dear... What do you think? Well, it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It really is. Betsy would really learn to swim. Oh, she'd love it, dear. Gee, we certainly weren't thinking of buying two acres, though, honey. I know it. I know it. Well, I don't want to say any more. It is up to you, but mm. I, I just wanted you to see it. Well, of course, you know nothing else is going to look any good after this. I know it, and there isn't anything as nice as this. I've been out almost all day with Mr. Whipple. We've driven everywhere. Yeah, I wish we had some time to think about it. 
I'm afraid Mr. Whipple is right. This is the only place around where you get a real view like that. You know, these acres will go fast. He says there's a small but a very nice sandy beach. Of course, it's all snow now, yeah. you know. <laughs> oh, it's... You know, after we get the house paid for, of course, I mean, I might even get a little sailboat. Uh-huh, <laughs> yes. I had one when I was a kid, you know. Well, it wasn't mine, oh, really, you? but I used it, you uh -huh. know. It was a lot of fun. Oh, sure. <laughs> of course, this lake isn't very big, but you could have a boat. Oh, of course you could. Oh, oh, and honey, the best part. Betsy would be in the same school district and she wouldn't have to change schools. And the bus comes out this way. Well, it might be a different bus, but you know, I mean, same hey, district. Hey, yeah, that is wonderful. <laughs> Isn't you know, it? I, I did think of that. You know, I hate to make her change schools. Mm -hmm. See, that really, you know, that might be a deciding factor. Well, that's what I thought, dear. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's more than we were going to spend for land. Mm. I, I know that. Well, I... maybe we should cut down on something else, you know, put more money into the property so we have something we really like. Well, that's what I thought. Oh, golly, look at that view. Oh, look at Honey, it. we could have a big picture window, yes, sit there at yes. night and look out <laughs> over the lights of this city. Oh, it'd be just wonderful. It really would just be wonderful. <laughs> yeah, well, darling, I'll tell you what. I'll have Whipple drive me back to the office. Well, and, drop uh, Betsy and me off at home. Yeah, then, all right. And I'll talk to Whipple on the way down. And, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> well, I'll go back to my office and do a little figuring. Be nice for you to have a little sailboat, dear. You'd get some exercise, which you said yourself you never get. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Now, look, don't try to influence me, will you? <laughs> I can't promise a thing, darling. I've got to figure the finances. Yes, well, if uh, if you decide this afternoon... I'll call you. One <laughs> way or another, I'll call you. Oh, no, Elner. Well, he was going to call me and hasn't. I'm just on needles and pins. <laughs> oh, the view is just breathtaking. Uh-huh. Yes. Hold on. I think I... Well, he just came in. Hi, dear. Oh, you didn't buy it. <laughs> you did buy it. You did. <laughs> you chickens. Elner, he bought it. Yeah, I'll call you later. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> you bought it. You every bought bush, it. every tree, every <laughs> stone, and part of the lake. <laughs> Betsy? Yeah. Betsy, come here. Come here, dear. Uh, Daddy bought the land. Why? Uh, Honey, Mommy's been explaining. I don't know what's the matter with you, dear. I don't want to live in the woods. With your own lake to go ice skating and swimming and... No. Oh, uh, oh well, she'll like it when we get out Honey, there. Honey, what's the it. trouble? What are you worried about? I don't want those other new children using my swing and my slide. What other new children? What do you mean? You mean the ones that are moving in here? Yes. Why, honey, we're taking your swing and slide and trapeze. We're taking it with us. Did you think we were leaving it here? Yes. Oh, oh come here to Mommy. Oh, my poor darling. Worrying about that, why, all your things will be right with you all the time. And you know something? Daddy may even get you a little rowboat. Rowboat? She's too young to have any little rowboat. A boat, Daddy? My very own boat? Your very own boat. <laughs> Look, she's going to learn to swim. Well, she better if you're getting her a rowboat. <laughs> we'll discuss that later. Where are you going, Betsy? I'm going to call Candy and tell her about my boat. Oh, really, dear? I don't think you should have said that. Later on, nah, maybe we could have... stop worrying. Your... Stop worrying, will you? Honey, you happy uh, about the land, oh, huh? yes. <laughs> Is it all settled? I mean, paid for, signed, and yeah, sealed? Yeah, yeah. Put down a deposit. <laughs> uh -huh. I, I wanted to make sure, oh, you yes. know, as long as I definitely decided. Yeah. I, I didn't want to lose it. No. Oh, oh, oh. What did he say about a road? Uh, a road to get to our property, you know. Didn't you ask him? No. No, golly, that's right, a road. Oh. Well, don't worry about it now. <laughs> oh, honey, won't it be fun building a house? <laughs> yeah, 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 I hope so. I, I hope so. I'm beginning to wonder. A road, yeah. The Couple Next Door is written by Peg Lynch and stars Peg Lynch and Alan Bunce with Francie Myers as Betsy and Raymond Bramley as Mr. Whipple and is produced by Walter Hart. This is Stuart Metz, inviting you to listen again Monday to The Couple Next Door. <laughs>